Hey friends, welcome back to the house for another drink. It's been a little bit of a pause, I think a little over a week now, and we've been spending the last week and a half really focusing on family. Dana's mom and granny was up from Georgia spending a week with us, and then I flew down to Georgia for a week this past weekend to celebrate my grandmother's 100th birthday. Amazing. I'd like to say that whiskey was the secret to her living to 100, but she didn't drink. So, unfortunately, that's not it. We can always hope. We can always hope. That's right. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> but we're excited to get back into this and open some different bottles other than wine for a week. Yes. <laughs> Granny loves her wine. <laughs> so this week we're going to be reviewing Backbone Bourbon and this bottle was procured for us by our very good friends Sam and Irma on one of their many off-road camping adventures. So for this we absolutely thank you. Yes, thank you both very much for thinking of us and picking up something new, something that is not available in Ohio. So I'm very eager for this one. Yes. So this particular bottle from Backbone Bourbon is their prime. And Backbone Bourbon actually was formed in 2014 by Bill Kennedy and Nolan Smith. However, they were selling two brands in Indiana prior to that since 2011. Now, their approach is to buy barrels from distilleries and then brand the whiskey under their labels. The original brand was started out of frustration, which I thought was really funny. We talk about the stories and kidding. <laughs> and although this one is probably a story more on the name than how it came to be. But the name Backbone really kind of came from their frustration with an Indiana bourbon supplier. They were, I guess, getting ready to use or looking to, to use, and that supplier flaked out. The supplier cited it being a need for a bigger and better representation. With that, <laughs> they came up with the name that they wished the supplier had more of a backbone. So <laughs> thus, Backbone Bourbon name was born. So Prime is a tribute to batch number one, and that was their first release of barrel strength bourbon. It's actually a combo of different age bourbons, which we've seen before. We have seen that before. So we've seen both companies that procure barrels and bottle them under a different label. We've also seen where you'll take a few different barrels of different aged whiskeys, maybe even different distillers, and blend them together for a pretty singular flavor profile. Mm -hmm. So blended, again, blended does not mean bad in this case. Right. So knock that out. And with the prime, what it is is it's going to be 98% straight whiskey and those are going to be aged for a minimum of two years mm -hmm. and then two percent the remaining two percent of this bottle are going to be more younger whiskeys aged one year or more so you've got a minimum of one year and then a maximum of actually four yep. years in this bottle so the the whiskey um in Backbone Prime likely was distilled in Indiana because that's where the company originates. And it is aged and bottled in Bardstown, Kentucky. So you have this blend of where it's distilled and where it's aged and aging the barrels in Kentucky. What that does is with the humidity and the temperature, the climate really helps push that whiskey through the barrel more and give it a boost of delicious flavor. Yeah, which I think is pretty smart in thinking of 
the environmental factors that impact those Absolutely. barrels other than just storing it wherever. Absolutely. Yeah, and the blended part, we did this for eight and sand. Yes. And I'm actually a fan of eight and sand. I love how it tastes. Uh, quite a bit actually so I'm that is definitely it's a blend done right yeah it is so I'm very eager to see how this one compares to, to one that a lot of people that may snob the blended actually think that was pr done pretty well right and like eight and sand backbones not gonna have any of those um, you know neutral spirits mm -hmm. none of that vodka stuff in there to boost the alcohol content. Yeah. So um, Backbone, in addition to their prime uncut, they also offer a 10 year and a 15 year reserve bottle uh, called Old Bones. I love the name. Old Bones, <laughs> I do too. <laughs> Backbone, Old Bones. Yeah. <laughs> and they also offer a rye and a gin. So it seems like everybody nowadays is offering gin. I mean, it's just kind of fitting you have everything there to make it and gin is it has its followers it does yeah so I am one of them yes you are so backbone is currently being sold not in ohio as we covered previously it is sold in arizona california illinois indiana and nevada you ready to get into this absolutely yeah i am too So this bottle is 104 proof. 104 proof. And they really like the uncut mm -hmm. style of it. Uh, part of their story when they first had their very first, where they got the name uncut from, they brought in a bourbon expert, quote unquote, <laughs> that supposedly knew all about bourbon and all about the tastes and the people that liked it and they had him come in and do a test. Now that barrel was 114 proof. They didn't really think about anything about it but they had enough the last pour of that barrel was in a glass and everyone thought there would be enough for the tester and to pass to others to taste. Well, the expert took the glass, turned his back to everybody, drank all of it out of the glass, and then turned around and said, don't touch it, leave it alone. So that's where the uncut came from, and that's what they've been focusing on now. I have had some fantastic whiskeys at 114. So this one is 104, then, yes. not 114. Yeah, the uncut actually comes in at, I think, between 114 and 116. You should smell this. It is very sweet. Wow. It is very sweet. Very so little sweet. alcohol smell to it. Get a lot of that just strong bourbon note where it's that caramel vanilla grains smoothness it smells very smooth so i'm getting some of the vanilla i'm getting like a cinnamon or a nutmeg even the longer i smell on it nose gets like a tobacco smell a real light tobacco smell i can see but maybe that's the Georgia boy in me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's wishful thinking. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. That is not as smooth as it smells. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
that has a solid burn from beginning to end. That's even, sweet to it. And even all the way down. Yeah. But the taste is not harsh. No, it's, it's it has not, a good taste to it. It's not a harsh taste. It it, le it legitimately to me it tastes like like a bourbon. Um, I would not consider. I'm not sure yet if I'd consider this a sipping bourbon. I would. I would either have to have, like, some drops of water in it to cut it just a tad or find another way to really enjoy it if I was to drink it just straight. Certainly higher proof than eight and sand. And if I was just sipping and I had to choose between a blended bourbon, eight and sand would be over backbone. Just because of just because of that, it, that heat it's, burn from it. And that's simply because we have personally tasted bourbons that have a higher proof, that have a, a smoother taste, mm -hmm. smoother palate than this one. So this one, I would, I would characterize the palate as uh, spicy. Um, yeah. Not picking up on a lot of the sweetness, you get an overall bourbon flavor profile, and that spiciness, I think, comes forward towards the end with that heat from the from the alcohol yeah but with all that being said it's still enjoyable that I would certainly continue to drink this and I will uh, is it going to be my first choice no to grab off the shelf is it going to go in a drawer no it's not honestly this is going to be really good for um, cocktails this is going to be phenomenal because you're it that bourbon flavor profile is going to carry forward yeah through the cocktail yeah i think in a cocktail would be really good for this kind of help aid in that mm -hmm. but i like it where i think it's a good addition it absolutely is a good addition at this price point i think i would i would buy another bottle of eight and sand yeah i would too yeah, I would definitely do that. If you've tried any of the Backbone's different lines, uh, comment and let us know what your thoughts on are on it, especially if it's something other than Prime. Uh, I'd love to be able to hear what your thoughts are on it as well. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us. Thank you all very much. Stay safe. We'll see you again soon. Cheers to another road trip. Yes. <laughs>